Welcome back YouTube, it's day two of my first ever playthrough of Mass Effect. In the last episode we were just kind of getting used to the game, running around the Citadel a lot and in the end we saved Tali from the Assassins and she has presented us with some new evidence against Saren so we're about to go down back to the Citadel Council to present that to them. Also saw a lot of jellyfish in this game, which I didn't expect. I seem to find jellyfish in every game I play recently. But yeah, stick around and we will see what happens in the Citadel today. All right, we have Garrus and Tali with us. Tali Zora Naraya. RIP Jenkins, I know, can you imagine? Day one, fall in love with Jenkins, Jenkins dies. You should be there when the ambassador presents the Quarian's evidence to the Citadel Council. Return to the Citadel Tower in the Presidium. Citadel Tower is where we need to go, right? I have been there before, so I should be able to figure out how to get back there. That's the one thing I struggled with a little bit in the last stream, is um, my bearings and figuring out where I'm going. But I guess like anything, that will come with time. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Oh, hello, side Commander quest. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh, Samesh. Pati. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm listening. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation. Oh, no. But the military has refused my request. That's garbage. Oh, my God. Some of the dialogue lines are ruthless. And that was meant to be my reputation. So I feel like maybe I should be ruthless. But not to guys like this. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. This is pointless. No. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Mr. Bosker. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Oh, that's sad. Is that a little... A little side quest we've opened up there, I believe. Oh, I've got three side quests. Resolve the dispute. I think that was between the jellyfish and the officer. The jellyfish is called a Hanar. Reporter's request. Oh yeah, she asked me to look for information. The fan. You probably haven't seen the last of Conrad. Oh no, that was that guy that I basically told to get lost. Homecoming. Speak to Bosker, the diplomat handling Mr. Batia's situation and find out why the body's not been returned. Loads of assignments, but at the moment I kind of just want to go and um, expose Saren. So we're going to go to the council. So that's the academy. This is the tower. I think the tower is this way. Yeah. I'm getting used to it. Financial district that way. Citadel Tower this way. Okay. I'm getting there. Love the outfit, by the way. He looks like he has horse feet. Is that right? I'm trying my best to keep up with the names of all the species of people as well. Instead of coming up with my own silly names for them. Like, they're not jellyfish. They're Hanar. And he is a Turian. All right. Let's go. So yeah, on my team at the moment is Tally, the Quarian, and Garrus, the Turian. Saren's days as a specter are done. If the evidence is worth trying to kill me for, I hope it is sufficient to motivate the council. The council didn't really do us any favors last time we were here. They kind of sided with Saren pretty uh, hard, pretty hard. So hopefully now that we have this new evidence from Tally, we might be able to convince them our way. But that wouldn't make for a very fun story, would it? Chorban, what's he doing to the keeper? Keep away from the what? keepers. Oh no, I wasn't. Yeah, I saw you. Never mind. Yeah. Um. Yes. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers. I've got no interest in the keep. Don't waste our time. I can see the line Salarian. on your face, Salarian. Oh uh, yeah. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. 
Why the lies, though? Why are you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. That's what I, I heard. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Oh, I'm getting myself into all these side quests. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm with the I'm Alliance. Commander Shepard with the Alliance military. Hmm. Oh. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Oh. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Why are we doing this? Great question. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little Are they about actual them. creatures or are they little robots? I want to know what makes them tick. Got it. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Okay. The Keeper scan has been uploaded to the database. Okay, so let's remember to scan the Keepers when we see them now. Not too many people have free access to the tower. Here's Captain Dad. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has oh, brought us one step this is the recording. to finding the conduit. And the conduit, I need to write that down. The return of the Reapers. What is the conduit? You wanted proof? There it is. And Reapers. This evidence what is, is irrefutable, that? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Oh. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. Oh. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines. That wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. A race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Saren wants to bring them back. Oh no. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. What? We think the He's like Jesus? is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? It's trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Don't be a fool. I'm gonna say you doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The I bet Reapers so many people have done a great cosplay a myth, of her. Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The council has stripped him of his position. This dude. That is not good enough. They're underestimating you know him. he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in. A yes, fleet Udina. cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation. Terminus makes me think of um, colonies. The Walking Dead. Do you guys remember Terminus from The Walking Dead? So you'll do nothing. <gasps> Send me. Yeah, the council are being pretty naive here. I think they are underestimating things, and it's going to be infuriating. So I'm going to say, "Send me." I can take Saren down. Hell the yes. Is right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I'm ready. I, yeah, I can't decide if I want to be good or bad. It's the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. 
Everybody's happy. Here we go. I am a specter now. I told you guys I was going to become a specter. Shepherd, step forward. Is this my? Am I being initiated right now? Oh. <gasps> music, music. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Yes! Spectres are not trained, but, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council. Instruments, Instruments of, of our, our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. Oh, shit! You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. About damn time is right. Hoorah, everybody. Fuck yeah. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Seren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Woo! Okay, yeah, give me some leads, any guys. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. I'm like a double O agent. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. He didn't even thank me. Yeah, I guess it's a thankless job. Time to get drunk? Yeah, sure. I'll drink some of my peppermint tea. <laughs> It's no big deal. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Oh. Spectre bonus, Spectre training talent unlocked. Oh. Her hair does keep changing. I noticed that also. Okay, let's have a look at the menus. I need to keep on top of menus. Okay, I kind of just want to do auto level up because menus like this confuse me at the best of times. And yeah, I just don't, don't really get it. So at the moment, I'm more renegade than I am Paragon. It's interesting. We'll see how that goes. The ambassador will provide you with a ship and crew. Meet him at the Alliance docking bay, accessible through the central elevator in the CSEC Academy. Say goodnight, Manuel. That was really funny, actually. This keeper has been scanned. Please do not disturb the keepers. No, I'm not touching them. There's another one over here, though. Yes, this is my platonic run now. After what happened in the first episode of this playthrough, I've decided to run a completely platonic playthrough because I can't deal with any more loss. R.I.P. Jenkins and Nihilus. Yeah, I mean, I say I'm going to do a platonic run, but we'll see what happens. Right, I'm going to continue speaking to the Hanar. Let's see. Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. <laughs> Just get rid of that Hanar. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? He doesn't want charity, I, I think that's what he says. Permit for you. Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. I However, understand. 
This one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Goodbye. I'll be back. This See you one later. will continue to spread its message. I don't want you to continue spreading your message. It's weird. I'm going to just run around, see what I can find. This dude wants me to help him find his wife. I'll come back and do that later. Oh, she's okay, though. Oh, no, actually, she's dead. <laughs> Sorry. 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 We've lost Tally. Where is she? Garrus, you're supposed to watch her. Where did you... What did you do with Tally? How do I find her? Oh, Jesus. There you are. Seasec Academy is this way. It's a very pretty wee city, isn't it? Nice green. The elevator leads down to the Seasec Academy. The Alliance docking bay can be found there. Got it. Jalid. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What are you doing here? I am Jaleed. I came here to seek aid from the authorities, but they won't listen to me. My colleague is trying to kill me, oh. and I thought we were friends. Kill you? You know he wants you dead. He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started Aww. following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. How can I help Is you? Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? So scary Would for you? Jalid. That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. Hmm. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. He's Salarian as well. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? Oh, Tally. Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Good point. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. I'm glad Tali remembered that because I did not. <laughs> okay, he said something about the wards. Can we go down there? Let's see what's down here. What is in here? Oh, I never know what I'm doing. Oh, to the wards. Okay, Binary perfect. Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. Whoa, I don't like this. <gasps> Keeper, friend. Officer Line. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Oh, Anything this is my mitt. No, I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. I am real busy, you're right. We're looking for the guy who approached us, or sorry, the guy who we approached earlier, and we said he we would scan all of the keepers for him. That's the guy that this dude, J Jalid, thinks is trying to kill him. His mate. But where is he? Hmm. Is it you? Oh, wait. It was you. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? I want answers. You can start by telling me the truth, Shorban. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jalid told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're going to tell me everything. You Why should I always get involved? Looks like my plans have changed. Uh oh It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. 
Yes, that's what I've been doing. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? I'm not What's sure. What's so special follow? about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. What about Jaleed? Why, are you Why does he think you're trying your to kill him? I'm not trying to kill him. Mm. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I'm tempted to go... <sighs> sigh. I should kill both of you idiots. Whoa! We lost our heads. That's not what I clicked. I clicked just sigh. an opportunity like this passes <laughs> by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? That's like in Witcher 3 where it says, push Dijkstra aside forcefully and you break his fucking knee. You break his leg. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, all right. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. Maybe. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And have a lot to do. Commander. I can't really commit to doing this, but we'll talk to his friend. Oh, we're going to Chora's Den again. Wasn't great when we came here last time. Things got a bit shooty. Hopefully it's all good now. I heard Garrus go, huh? All safe. Back at the scene of the crime. Easy decryption. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, fuck. Yeah. High caliber barrel and chemical rounds. Cool. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm open to decrypting everything in this game. I love this little game. I still don't understand the cyberpunk game that I've, you know, been trying to play for several weeks. Several months, actually. Ah! <laughs> okay, I got in over my head. What? No! Let me try again. Oh, you only have 10 seconds? I didn't realize there was a timer in the middle. Shit. I need to go to the docking bay. So I'm here. Requisition office, there. Lower wards is where we just went. Docking bay. This here? I got it. I got it. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. Oh! That's the guy's wife that we've been looking wife for. A talented chef, serviceman Batia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. Aww. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. So why have they not sent back her body, assholes? Okay, there's Udina. And Dad. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain <laughs> Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Why? She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Why? I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. No, oh, what's he gonna do instead? Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Should have told Why me. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it. I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. No, you didn't. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Oh. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. You can count on me, sir. 
I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us get scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is. Hold on, I need to does. write that down. Okay. I need a new page. So we need to go to Pharos and Noveria to look for the conduit. Got it. Anything else? We have one more lead. Oh yeah, the matriarch Mom. The other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. Actual mom? We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. Okay, Liara. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Liara is the matriarch's daughter. Artemis Tau cluster. Hang on, I, I do want to write this down because I forget everything. So we can go to the Artemis Tau cluster to find Liara, or we can go to Pharos or Noveria to look for the conduit. I kind of want to go and look for Liara, because her mom is cute. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. That's your job is pretty brutal. I've actually been quite nice for a long time, so I feel like I'm due a bad answer. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. That's, That's exactly reasonable. the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. Oh, shit. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. He's not happy about that. Understandable. Yes, Commander. Are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to. I end. love the outfit. Pushing it's so really smart. Thing, but you're the one who can stop Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. Oh. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate Just like Nihilus. Just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Yeah, Nihilus died. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, Quick quiet. quiet. Yes, give me a stealth him. mission. Whoops, I pressed the button by accident. Oh no, we're good. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think <gasps> Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Was anyone How many hurt? casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers. Saren's ruthless, just like me. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. Aww. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectre. You got blamed? Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. That isn't fair. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the council was going to listen to? Me? Yeah, that's a or fair point. Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. It wasn't don't blame your yourself, fault, sir. Captain. Oh, that's I sad. Don't. I blame Saren. 
Good. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Saren sounds Maybe like he just, he just wants to kill. Yeah, for fun. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right. She does that a lot. It's no good living in the bag. Goodbye. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, okay. So now we have three main missions. Pharos and Neveria for Geth and potential conduit. And Liara is on the Artemis Tau cluster. What I think we'll do is we'll do a couple of the side quests around here. And then we'll gear up, get ready to go to the Artemis Tan Tau cluster. Garris, if you do not mind me asking, how do you feel about hunting a Turian? Oh, great question, Tali. Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. You're right. Things are different among my people. There are so few of us. We are expected to be loyal, even when it is difficult. Wow. That's Jalid. Oh, okay, let's go talk to Jalid um, before we leave this area. How do we get there? Okay, Jalid, your bro is not trying to kill you. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Chorbin? Finding Chorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Which one of them is lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Ooh. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But, well, if you say so. I'm confused well, by this if guy. Can forgive and forget, then so can I. Oh, they're friends again, I good. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Oh, okay. So we went to the office. We got the information. Now we just have to deliver the information to Ms. Wong. She's in the upper wards. Okay, I can figure that out. Upper wards. Upper wards. So this is where I go to the CSEC Academy. Right, this is not right. Where's the upper wards? Oh, I see her. Yes, I'm in the right place. Emily, I found your information. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on the taking dress. down Fist. I'm obsessed. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got oh. this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. I can offer more? Or you owe me more? Why is it written in red? No problem. Pleasure doing business with you. Indeed. Thank you, Commander. I'll oh, we should certainly let twice. you know if I find out anything that helps you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Interesting. Don't really know what I've caused by giving her that information because I don't know who she is or what information I gave her. So <laughs> we'll see what comes of that. I really want to do homecoming. So we need to go to um, convince the Alliance. So talk with the diplomat, which means we need to go to the embassy lounge on the Presidium. I can do that. This car will take me anywhere I need to go. And I need to go to the Presidium to find the Embassy Lounge to find someone. <laughs> You've arrived at the Presidium Embassies. Okay, so that's his, that's the man we talked to. And now the journal says... Speak to Bosker, the diplomat handling Mr. Batia's situation and find out why his wife's body has not been returned. He's in the embassy lounge. Okay, so embassy lounge. Whoops. There. There. Okay, got it. It's only around the corner. Okay, here he is, Bosker. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Oh, he's another Your fan. Your activities made for quite <laughs> a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Stop stealing corpses! You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Batya. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. 
Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with oh, any okay. type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You just need to communicate that back to the husband, though, not just leave him in the dark. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Oh. Investigate. Number of bodies. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. I feel like Samesh should hear this. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go speak to Samesh and see where he... Oh! I think I went the wrong way. I don't recognize this dude. Human, delighted. Oh, he's like Bart. He's like a troll. Oh. I'm going to go speak to Samesh first, see what he thinks about his wife being used for science. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to be ruthless. They're running medical studies on Nerali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? They are. My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. This is war. This is important. I'll work on it. It is unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. It is unacceptable. Please let me know what can be done. I'm going back to speak to him. And we're going to get her body back. I don't know why I feel very strongly that this man should have the body of his wife so he can mourn. Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? This isn't... I might just go full renegade and be like, I'm releasing the body. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Batya, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even oh, he's if the scared. Body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? Wait, what? I have to go and shoot somebody? The Marine's name was Nerali Batya. If you want to cut her up, you call her by name. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. Yeah, I'll we did it. I'll go to it myself. I didn't even need to shoot anybody. We'll go back and tell Samesh. They will have plenty of bodies to... Renegade plus nine, did it say that? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. But I'm helping Samesh. This is not evil. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will Aww, return home see? and begin my good. preparations. It does not bring me happiness. But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Helping him might mean killing other people. No, I didn't have to kill anyone. They'll have plenty of bodies they can cut up. Let's have a look over here. We haven't really explored over here yet. That much, anyway. Oh, who's this? Welcome, I am Nelina. Nelina! I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. What is this place? Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? What is the consort? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is a consort? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. 
How some annoying. Seek her Just for give me a straight advice, answer. Some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Is she? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm Aww. one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. So what is this place? What exactly do you <laughs> attend to? Great question. Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Oh shit. Signs like interesting. Your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, mm, three or four months. Uh, three or four months? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. She better contact me. Else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return oh, again well. in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Yeah, in three or four Nalina. months. Oh, yes, Shaira. Send the commander up to see me. I wish to oh. speak with her. Oh. Yes, of course, mistress. Oh, what is this place? My god. What have I done? Ooh la la. What have I done? Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Shit. Sure. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. They have the same outfit on. Head upstairs. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. What is this place? There she is. This room looks normal. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. Who are you? What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your Oh, expertise. she wants me to do something for her. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus. Septimus. A retired Turian general. I've definitely seen I that name before. Details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. You want me to go beat if him up? If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. Oh, boring. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. That was weird. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. But what is this place? Please, Commander. I ask that you return to me only after you have spoken with All right, me. all right. We have to go back to Chora's den. Yeah, she really did violate my space. She came right up in my face. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure what to expect their first time. Don't get me wrong. I've only heard good things about the consort. It's just... The unknown forces us out of our comfort zone. It forces us to be vulnerable. We're jumping to conclusions here. We could be wrong. So we want to go to Ward's locations and we want to go to Chora's Den. I'm getting the hang of this now, I think. All right, so we're looking out for another Turian dude. And back in this club. There he is, sitting at the table. Who wants to have a drink with me? Commander. What do you want? 
I'm here on Shaira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. Your lies have been killing me. Oh, for days. lovers quarrel. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. Oh, Garus. What did a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me. Oh. Septima Soraka, general of the Turian fleet. Oh, this is weird. Is it worth is it? Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. He still wants it's her. her. And her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Get a grip. I'm not leaving. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? They have such huh? skinny waists. Oh, those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. You make me sick. No, don't give up. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. Come so on, Septimus. That easy. Septimus just Prime. Up and act like a general. It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested He's got jobs in for me, too. Credits? Hell yeah. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. <laughs> Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I I was disparaging his ancestors. Oh, God. This guy's really fucked up everything. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. Exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. Zeltan, He's an okay. Diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Does he know who I am? I'm a specter. Not now. I'm watching the show. All right. So now it wants us to go. We could go back and speak with Shaira first to let her know that we've spoken with Septimus, and then we can also go and speak to Zeltan. Zeltan is at the Elcor Embassy. Find him and show him the evidence that proves Shaira was not to blame for his secrets getting out. Go to Shaira at the Consort Chambers in the Presidium. I let her know you've spoken to General Septimus. Okay. Coming up in a report later today, uh -oh. Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full That's the information crime I gave syndicate. her. Embassy receptionist, should we talk to her? Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What's your name? What do you do here? Oh, it's My cute when she asks Ethereum. about them. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Great. Thanks. Executor Palin. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. Head of CSEC, oh cool. And you're the first human specter. Get used to people knowing who you are. At least around here. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Palin. Looking for, oh, let me decrypt this computer console. With... I like this little game. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, few tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come join us in the Hawking Eta cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Sheesh. Private Frederick. Believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Yeah, it's me. Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, that is, she helps people with things. You never went to see her, did you? I, oh, uh, look, Garrus' no, little teeth. I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. I've already spoken to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. I already knew that. Because I've been there, remember? That's Captain Anderson. Aha! Uh -huh. Zeltan. Hello there, human. Hello there. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? Shahira is not to blame. It was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. So the blue... This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. You'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I, I like the way he expresses his emotions. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. <laughs> I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious, Anxious request. request. Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. Goodbye. So long. Farewell, human. Farewell, Thankful. human. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans Din. are, as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always Pleased good to greeting. see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Uh, tell me about Elcors. Tell me more about your species. Genuine I like Elcors. I delight oh. in telling the history of my people. Genuine it enthusiasm. Is to share our culture with others. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the Aww. confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Oh, that's sweet. Goodbye, I like the Elcor. Sincere farewell. Sincere good farewell. Day good day. Know. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Thank you. Let's scan this little keeper. And then we'll go back and see Shahari. Shiara. What, wait, what is her name? Shaira. Shaira. All these new names are difficult to remember. Like Shakira, yes, exactly. Her hips don't lie. Let's go speak to her. Hello, Nalina. I'm back. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember. Hello, Shaira. Commander. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Oh, good. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. 
Good. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I like her makeup. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Of course. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an oh. affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Yeah, this is like when people try to pay influencers with exposure. A gift of words won't pay the bills, lady. <laughs> Thank you. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small Can mystery. we kiss? I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. I thought we were gonna kiss, uh. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. We've done quite a few little side missions, haven't we? All the rest of them are off on different um planets or something, I think. How do we go to Artemis Tau? Go to Neveria or go to Ferros? So I take it we go to the docking bay and get the ship and go. I take it that's how it works, right? That would make sense. It's right beside me. For the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. Okay. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Hmm. This is the Normandy, I believe. Yes. So we started with getting Saren yeeted out of the Spectres. We then got promoted to Spectre, which was awesome and epic. We've done some side jobs. We're gonna go rest up. We're gonna return next time. Go out on the Normandy, find Liara, and investigate the Geth presence on Pharos and Novaria.